Are you still hungry? He asked his new friend. I know I am. The dog's tummy began to rumble. That story's making me hungry. <laughs> October 18th, my husband and I went to Talladega um, for the race in Alabama. Um, we were camping out with some friends, and we had borrowed an RV from, from a friend, actually. And uh, we were there for the weekend. And so we got there Friday afternoon and cooked out, um, hung out with everybody, and then uh, went to bed. And the next thing I remember, I woke up in the hospital at the University of Alabama um, in Birmingham. It was apparently carbon monoxide poisoning. The suspect is that the generator was faulty, and um, that's probably what happened. Um, and uh, my husband did not survive, but I did. And um, I've been told many times over that, that it's a miracle I survived. There was a very short window of time that night um, to make a decision about what to do because all of my organs were failing. The doctors there at UAB um, decided to use a kind of unconventional um, uh, use of something called an ECMO machine. It's normally used for transplant patients. It does the work of your heart and your lungs for you. So they allowed my heart and my lungs to recover from the carbon monoxide poisoning. They weren't sure it would work, but he thought it would, and, and it did. So that's what saved my life. Um, they said I would probably would have died within a few hours if they hadn't abused that. Right now, they think I'll make a full recovery. Um, here at home, um, the worst problems I'm having is my lungs are going to be a really long time healing. So I'm out of breath if I walk from one room to the next, so I can't do a lot of physical activity. I'm taking the grieving process one step at a time. And mainly because I've had so much focus on just getting healthy for myself, getting healthy enough to be home with my daughter. That's been my main focus. And so that part has been hard. It's, it's kind of at a distance to me because I didn't get to go to the funeral. It's still kind of unreal to me. I'm just thankful. I'm thankful to be here. You know, it's uh, it's overwhelming to think how close I was to to, to, to not surviving that, and it, it scares me because I, you know, I, I want to be here for my daughter. So that's my biggest goal right now is just getting better and getting well enough that I can get back to a normal, well, as much of a normal life as I can. I love a good mystery. <laughs>